Hi everybody, Bill Angelos here with my introduction to Google Analytics video. This is what you see when you first load up your analytics. It gives you the traffic and the stats for the last month. And this is all something that you can configure up in the calendar, up in the upper right corner. You can select from whenever you want to whenever you want. Uh, you can spe uh, specify just one day. Uh, for now, we're just going to leave it as it is, looking at the last month. And you can see right here we've had 463 visitors, and it tracks exactly how many you've got day to day. Uh, and it shows it up here too. Same with unique visitors, how many page views, and how much pages per visit. A little bit lower, we've got average duration, which is almost six minutes, and a bounce rate of about 35 percent this pie chart over here tells you how many new visitors versus how many returning visitors which is pretty nice uh, it means that I've got a lot of people coming back for more uh, content uh, which probably means that they liked what I had the first time so one thing that we can do um, is all the stuff here on the left we can click on for for different metrics so right now we're gonna click on the real time and what this is going to do is it's going to show us people who are on the site right now and we can see uh, where they came from. So we're going to go ahead and click on overview under real time. And right now we can see that there's one person on the site right now. They're a desktop user and we don't have a referral source for them. But what we can do is we can see that the clicks per second, uh, there's two clicks here. Um, which really doesn't tell you a whole lot, but it does tell you what page they're on and where in the world they're from. We have somebody from Melbourne on the site right now. So we might actually have another person watching uh, a video because after about six or seven minutes, they, it stops showing them up as, a, as a, a viewer. So they could be watching one of the longer videos and it just doesn't have them recorded as an active. But we, we definitely have one person on right now and they're watching a tutorial that I've made. Uh, if we go on to uh, locations, again, it shows you where in the world they're at. If you go on traffic sources, it'll tell you where they came from, but it, uh, it says direct, which means that they possibly have us bookmarked or they typed in the URL themselves. Uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, there's not a whole lot of information here with this specific user. Uh, going down, on the list here we have audience and that tells us a bunch of different stuff well, let's leave it open um, we're looking at the overview and again that brings us back to the the main screen that's what it starts us off at but we can find out where all these people are we can look at the location so this shows us everybody who's been to the site in the last month it shows us where they've come from in the world and you can break down, you can see how much traffic each country is giving you. That way it helps you with a whole bunch of stuff um, for targeting ads, for just knowing what to tailor your content to. You know, if you've got a lot of people from the United Kingdom and Australia, you might want to tailor your content more towards them depending on what you offer for content. Same thing if you're offering content for specific to like German, Sweden, other countries like that it's it's always helpful to know where your traffic is coming from so while we're looking at this it breaks it down how many visitors how many new visitors how and then percentage uh, and how many exact number of new visitors and then the bounce rate by country as well as total page views average duration visit and goals goals is a fun one but I don't have it yet set up on my website because I've not set up any way to monetize it yet everything is strictly free uh, and I don't have any anything for sale just yet in the future I might but but not yet uh, and then it would tell you not only how many percentage uh, of the people completed the goals but exact numbers and then whatever value I uh, place on the goals because different uh, va different goals can have different values um, and then down here at the bottom it says that this is showing uh, one of 10 out of 40, which means a total of 40 different countries have viewed my site. So this is the 40 up here. 
So we're gonna go a little bit further down the list here. We're gonna go on to acquisition, and then we're gonna look at all traffic. And this is gonna show us exactly where people came from, what sites linked to ours that people came from. So the vast majority are coming from direct, Another is coming from a private forum that I belong to. A lot of it is YouTube traffic, and I'm even showing up for some uh, Google organic traffic, which is nice, uh, as well as some Google Plus. I don't usually get Google Plus uh, because I'm not usually promoting the Google Plus. This is another website that's linking to my uh, one of my articles that I wrote, uh, a mobile YouTube a YouTube referral, and somebody who opened up uh, an email for me with my website in it and even one RSS feed and again it breaks it down where you can see all the stats based on uh, bounce visits duration so it's all good stuff the next fun one is behavior and you can see where people are spending their time on your site in this one, we see that my tutorials page is the most popular because in most cases, I will actually link to my tutorials page when I'm posting uh, content on, on forums uh, helping people. So that if you find this video, you possibly found it from tutorials, uh, you possibly found it from YouTube. Um, and, and again, I'm most likely I'm linking to my tutorials page just because that's where, where my hub of everything is. Not everybody is interested in GSA. But the number two page is my main home page. And you can see the difference in, in page views. This is the number of actual people, uh, of actual page views, and this is the percentage of total page views. So again, there's a lot of information with Google Analytics. And it's really beneficial to people to have analytics set up. It's not hard to set it up, and it gives you so much information. And again, we can see this user from Melbourne, uh, he's on the second tutorial, he's clicked through, and we've got somebody on here now for uh, eight minutes. So that's pretty good. Um, it's all about page views, it's all about keeping visitors on your site, providing them with quality content, and knowing what they find quality, so that you can provide more of it and keep them on your site longer in the future.